Even in a pandemic, some people are determined to put themselves and even their appearance first. Customers at a hairdresser's in South Wales decided to make a run for it when police showed up. This woman was mid-treatment, having her hair coloured. Everyone was fined. What's really apparent is that those people who are uh, blatantly breaching the laws are doing it knowingly. Today, the restaurant where pop star Rita Ora held an illegal party in November faced a hearing on whether it should lose its licence after officers were alerted to the event. This afternoon, the police described it as an egregious and notorious breach where CCTV inside was switched off to enable revellers to evade punishment. Rita Ora has already apologised, but once again, the Home Secretary is underlining how those in the public eye must lead by example. These celebrities and these influencers should be thinking very, very hard about their own actions and what kind of message that sends out. Um, I've always said that the majority of the public are following the rules. The British public are sensible. Her warning comes after a string of increasingly flagrant COVID breaches. Is it a bit, oh, baby show? Here, police in East London find several households celebrating. Obviously, you're breaking COVID rules. We can find every adult here, every single one of you. Please! But some of the breaches are much bigger. Here, the Metropolitan Police break up an illegal rave. Get back in! And the organisers of this mass snowball fight in Leeds have both been fined £10,000 for a blatant breach of COVID rules. But there are also thousands of more minor incidents which the police have to investigate. This is pretty typical of the kind of incidents the police are being called out to, suggestions that there are people here with symptoms who are not self-isolating. They have to respond to all of these calls, which is taking up an enormous amount of resources. This time, it's a false alarm. Yeah, it's difficult because people may be calling in good faith, um, but the information may be incorrect. But with so many outrageous cases of people ignoring the health crisis, the warning today is stark. Carry on like this and you'll be caught and fined. Dan Rivers, ITV News.